Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you had to make a decision? Not based on what you could see with your eyes, but on a feeling deep within your spirit. Imagine you're navigating through a bustling market filled with various stalls. Each stall claims to offer the best, the freshest, and the most valuable goods. Yet, amidst the noise and the chaos, something within you guides you to the right stall where true value lies hidden beneath the surface. This, my dear friends, is similar to the gift of discernment. It is the spiritual equivalent of navigating through the market of life, guided not by sight, but by the spirit. Today, I want to explore what it means to possess the gift of discernment. And we will look at three signs that may indicate that you have this gift. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. The gift of discernment, as we understand from 1 Corinthians 12 verse 10, is one of the many ways that the Holy Spirit empowers believers to navigate the challenges of life. The scripture says, to another, the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another different kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. Discernment is not merely about making decisions. It's about making informed decisions that align with God's will, ensuring that our choices reflect His divine guidance and wisdom. This profound spiritual gift equips us to distinguish between truth and deception, enabling us to discern the spiritual realities behind our circumstances and interactions. It serves as a beacon, illuminating our path in a world often shrouded in moral and ethical ambiguity or complexity. As we delve into the signs of this gift, we will explore how each aspect of discernment enables us to use this gift in our daily lives, fostering a deeper connection with God and a more impactful Christian witness in the world around us. Sign number one, a sensitivity to the spiritual environment. My dear friends, have you ever entered a space and immediately felt an unexplainable peace or, in contrast, a sense of unease? Imagine you are a musician with a finely tuned ear for music. You can discern not only the distinct instruments in a complex symphony, but also detect even the slightest off note that many might miss. This sensitivity in the realm of music parallels the discerning believer's sensitivity to the spiritual dynamics of their surroundings. Just as Hebrews 5 verse 14 speaks of mature believers who through practice have their senses trained to discern good and evil, so does this gift operate in the lives of those who are attuned to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Let us further explore the profound ability that some of us possess to sense the spiritual atmosphere, a clear sign of the gift of discernment. Understand that this gift is not merely about perception. It is about a distinct feeling or intuition about people, places, or situations without having a rational explanation. It is as if one can sense the undercurrents of the spiritual realm understanding when something is amiss or when there is a cause for genuine joy and peace. This sensitivity is a tool given by God, as seen in Acts 16, verses 16 to 18, where Paul, guided by the Holy Spirit, discerned the spirit of divination in a girl who was being exploited by her masters. We see where his spiritual sensitivity to the situation led to her freedom. Such sensitivity often leads those with the gift to be prayer warriors, interceding on behalf of others, situations, 
or places where they sense spiritual unrest or need. They are drawn to pray, not out of a sense of duty, but moved by a profound understanding that prayer can change the spiritual dynamics at play. This aligns with Ephesians 6, verse 18, which urges us to pray in the Spirit on all occasions, with all kinds of prayers and requests, being alert and always praying for all believers in Christ. Additionally, this heightened spiritual awareness fosters an environment where the fruit of the Spirit can flourish and become more evident in the lives of those who walk in discernment. The fruit of the Spirit, as listed in Galatians 5, verses 22 to 23, are signs of a life governed by the Spirit, contrasting with the acts of the flesh. Also, sensitivity to the spiritual realm often comes with a profound responsibility for the purity and holiness of the body of Christ. Those with this gift can discern when teachings or practices stray from the truth of Scripture, and they are compelled to uphold biblical doctrine, protecting the church from deception. This mirrors the discernment shown by the Bereans in Acts 17. Verse 11, who examined the scriptures daily to confirm the truth of Paul's teaching. Understand that the practice of discernment also involves a commitment to personal holiness and purity. As those with this gift seek to be vessels used by God, they are drawn into a deeper pursuit of living lives that are pleasing to Him, avoiding sin and embracing righteousness. Much like Daniel in Daniel 1 verse 8, who resolved not to defile himself with the royal food and wine. This spiritual sensitivity is not without its challenges. It can sometimes lead to feelings of isolation or misunderstanding, as those with this gift may perceive things that others do not. Yet, it is a call to deeper communion with God, to seek His face and understand His will more fully. Just as Moses spent time in the presence of God, receiving his laws and guidance for Israel, so must those with the gift of discernment draw near to God to understand his heart and will for his people. The gift of discernment also empowers individuals to be agents of change and healing, sensing the spiritual needs around them. They can minister to others in a way that is both profound and impactful addressing not just the surface issues, but the deeper spiritual roots. This ministry is a reflection of Jesus' own ministry, who went beyond the physical needs of those he encountered to address their spiritual ailments. Furthermore, this gift necessitates a life marked by humility and reliance on God. Recognizing that the ability to discern comes from the Holy Spirit, those gifted in this way are continually reminded of their need for God's guidance and strength, echoing the humility of John the Baptist, who said in John 3, verse 30, He must increase, but I must decrease. My friends, this first sign of discernment calls for courage and boldness. Just as Esther was called for such a time as hers to save her people, so are those with the gift of discernment called to stand in the gap, to intercede, and to act, even when it requires stepping out of their comfort zones. They are assured of God's presence and strength, as promised in Joshua 1 verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. As we reflect on this first sign of discernment, let us seek to cultivate a sensitivity to the Holy Spirit's leading in our lives, that we may be attuned to His guidance and presence in every situation. Sign number two, wisdom in decision-making. My friends, have you ever faced a crossroads, each path, 
veiled in uncertainty, yet felt a pull towards one direction over another. This scenario resembles a seasoned shepherd navigating through vast and varied terrains, leading his flock to green pastures. He does not rely solely on visible paths, but trusts his instincts, honed by years of experience and an intimate knowledge of the landscape. Similarly, the gift of discernment endows an individual with divine wisdom in decision-making, guiding them through life's complexities with an assurance that surpasses human understanding. Let us dive into the profound wisdom that accompanies the gift of discernment, revealing how it influences decision-making in a manner aligned with God's will. Individuals gifted with discernment often exhibit an uncanny ability to make decisions that, while they may confound others, lead to peace, righteousness, and the advancement of God's kingdom. This wisdom is not of their own making, but echoes the promise found in James 1 verse 5, which assures us that if any of us lacks wisdom, we should ask God, who gives generously to all, without finding fault, and it will be given to us. The decision-making process for those with this gift is steeped in prayer and meditation on God's word. They understand that every choice should not just reflect personal desires, but align with the principles and precepts found in Scripture. This mirrors the practice of the early church in Acts 15, where leaders gathered, debated, and sought the Lord's guidance before making pivotal decisions about the church's direction. Also, wisdom in decision-making often involves seeking godly counsel. Proverbs 11 verse 14 highlights the importance of such counsel, stating, Where there is no counsel, the people fall, but in the multitude of counselors there is safety. Those with the gift of discernment value the insights of fellow believers Understanding that God often speaks through His body, the Church. This gift also manifests in a unique capacity to foresee potential outcomes of decisions, not through human foresight, but through spiritual insight. Like Joseph, who interpreted Pharaoh's dreams and wisely advised on the management of Egypt's resources in preparation for famine, Discerning individuals can anticipate and navigate future challenges with divine foresight. Wisdom in decision-making is also characterized by a steadfastness and calm. In the midst of storms, those with discernment possess a peace that, as Philippians 4 verse 7 describes, surpasses all understanding. This peace guards their hearts and minds anchoring them in Christ, even when decisions seem risky or go against conventional wisdom. The discerning individual's decisions are often marked by an emphasis on integrity and righteousness. They choose paths that uphold godly values, even when such choices are unpopular or come with personal cost. This commitment to righteousness reflects the beatitude found in Matthew 5, verse 6, which tells us, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Additionally, the gift of discernment in decision-making leads to actions that promote unity and edification within the body of Christ. Decisions are made not only for personal or immediate gain, but with a keen awareness of their impact on the wider community of believers. As Paul discusses in 1 Corinthians 10 verse 24, reminding us to seek the good of many so that they may be saved. This wisdom also fosters a spirit of humility, recognizing that every correct decision is a result of divine guidance rather than personal expertise. As Jesus himself said in John 5, Verse 30, I can do nothing on my own. 
As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will, but the will of him who sent me. The practice of discernment in decision-making is an ongoing journey, not a one-time event. It involves constant seeking, listening, and adjusting, much like navigating by the stars. This ongoing process is a testament to the believer's dependence on God and their commitment to walking in His ways. Also, wisdom in decision-making as a sign of discernment is a beacon of light to others. It serves as a testimony of God's active presence and guidance in the lives of His children, inspiring faith and trust in those around them. Just as Solomon's wisdom in 1 Kings 4, verse 34, drew people from all nations to hear His understanding, so does godly wisdom in decision-making draw others closer to the heart of God. And sign number three, discerning between truth and error. My friends, have you ever been presented with two seemingly identical objects tasked with identifying the genuine from the counterfeit? This challenge is similar to a master jeweler who, through years of experience and training, can distinguish between a real diamond and an imitation with just a glance. The gift of discernment equips believers with a spiritual sharpness to differentiate between truth and error, much like the jeweler's keen eye. This ability is essential. In a world where truths and falsehoods are often intertwined, leading many astray, the discernment between truth and error is not just for our protection, but for the edification of the entire body of Christ. It is particularly crucial in our engagement with spiritual teachings and doctrines. In a landscape where numerous voices vie for our attention, the ability to discern aligns us with the truth of God's Word. It is important to ground our discernment in the Word of God ensuring that our beliefs and teachings are solidly anchored in biblical truth. This gift also plays a vital role in protecting the church from false teachings and heresies. Throughout history, the church has faced various doctrinal challenges that have threatened its unity and purity. Those endowed with the gift of discernment serve as watchmen on the walls, as referenced in Isaiah 62, verse 6. Alert and vigilant, safeguarding the flock from erroneous teachings that lead away from the truth of the gospel. The role here is not one of judgment, but of loving correction, guided by a commitment to the truth and the well-being of the church. In personal relationships and encounters, discernment allows believers to navigate complex social and moral landscapes with wisdom and grace. It enables one to perceive underlying motives and spiritual realities behind actions and words, fostering healthier, more authentic relationships. This discernment is similar to Solomon's wisdom in discerning the true mother in the dispute over a child in 1 Kings 3, verses 16 to 28. By seeking God's guidance, Believers can respond to others with insight and compassion, reflecting Christ's love and truth in their interactions. Furthermore, discerning between truth and error cultivates an environment where faith can grow and mature. When believers are rooted in the truth of God's Word, they are less likely to be swayed by every wind of doctrine, as we're reminded in Ephesians 4, verse 14. This stability in the truth, empowers believers to live out their faith with confidence, bearing witness to the transformative power of the gospel in their lives. The practice of discernment also encourages a deeper dependence on the Holy Spirit. In John 16, verse 13, Jesus promised that the Spirit of truth would guide us into all truth. By relying on the Holy Spirit, 
believers are equipped to distinguish between God's truth and the deceits of the enemy, ensuring their walk with the Lord is guided by genuine revelation and understanding. In the exercise of this gift, humility remains a critical virtue, recognizing that discernment is a gift from God. Those who discern between truth and error do so with an attitude of humility and service, seeking not to exalt themselves, but to edify others and glorify God. This humility is essential, for it acknowledges our dependence on God for wisdom and guidance in discerning His truth. Understand that discerning between truth and error compels believers to action. It is not enough to identify falsehood. We are called to stand firm in the truth, promoting and defending the gospel with courage and love. This commitment to action is a reflection of our allegiance to Christ, the way, the truth, and the life, and our desire to see His kingdom come and His will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let us embrace the gift of discernment with open hearts, seeking the Holy Spirit's guidance to illuminate our path through the many voices of this world. As we anchor ourselves in the Word of God, may we grow in wisdom and truth, becoming beacons of light that reflect the true gospel of Christ. Together, in unity and faith, we will navigate the challenges of life, upheld by the unwavering truth of Scripture and the transformative power of God's love. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I exalt your holy name, for you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Your greatness is unsearchable and your wisdom is infinite. From the foundations of the earth to the heavens above, your glory is proclaimed. You are the Creator who fashioned creation with your word, the Shepherd who guides us to green pastures and the rock upon which I stand. I thank you, Lord, for your endless mercy and unfailing love. Thank you for the gift of life, for salvation through your Son, Jesus Christ and for the promise of your Holy Spirit who dwells within me. Your goodness and faithfulness have been my fortress and my shield. Merciful Lord, forgive me for the times I have strayed from your path, for the moments of doubt and for the occasions when my faith wavered. I ask for your forgiveness. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I also extend forgiveness to those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness or resentment, for in forgiveness I find freedom. Lord, I pray for the gift of discernment in my life. Grant me the sensitivity to sense your spirit's movement, the wisdom to make decisions aligned with your will, and the ability to distinguish between truth and error. May your word be a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path, guiding me in every step. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare victory over the enemy. I rebuke and bind every attempt to sow confusion, deceit, or division in my life. Lord, I bind every spirit that is not of you and I claim your peace, your truth, and your righteousness in my heart and in my mind. Bless me with your holy presence. Fill me with your peace and heal me from any form of sickness or hurt. 
protect me from attacks of the enemy. Whether they come as physical ailments, emotional struggles, or spiritual battles, extend this same protection and blessings to my loved ones, keeping us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, as I say this prayer, together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other, asking you to fill and empower us with your Holy Spirit, to strengthen our faith, and to grant us the discernment we seek. Help us to navigate the challenges of life with the confidence that comes from knowing you are with us. Lord, we claim victory over our lives. We declare healing where there is sickness, peace where there is turmoil, and clarity where there is confusion. Thank you for your protection, for your guidance, and for the Holy Spirit who leads us into all truth. Let your kingdom come, and let your will be done on earth and in our lives, as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. If you were blessed by this message, type the word amen in the comment section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you, in the name of Jesus. You can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member who you know needs the blessing of this prayer and by clicking the like button. Also remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all those who support us. You're blessed to be a blessing. Now, for those who are listening and you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I urge you to receive God's grace with an open and repentant heart. Start where you are. Your past doesn't matter. Jesus came to seek and to save those that are lost. God loves you. It is not God's will that anyone should perish, but for all to come to repentance. Say this simple salvation prayer for yourself. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner, and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, hear my prayer, I pray. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Now that you have prayed this prayer, you can ask a pastor to baptize you at a local church and make that decision public. Baptism is a symbol of that decision to follow Jesus. I then encourage you to have fellowship with other believers, to learn more about your new life, and to get to know more about God. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comments section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. Also, we invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you were not prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.